Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and I'm with Bridge Linux. As you can see, um, I'm not quite sure the philosophy behind this. Uh, to be honest, I don't know anything about it other than that I have four flavors of it, and I have them all running next to each other, and they're all based on the new kernel for Arch Linux, but they come in the flavors GNOME, KDE, Lite. Uh, whatever that one might be, and XFCE, so a light, I don't know. So uh, this is the GNOME 1 and the GNOME 3.0 panel with cinnamon uh, on there. Uh, so that's that's this one. Uh, they have Chromium for internet and they have ZenMap already on there, which is kind of weird for a distro. I mean, um, I believe this is to be used as a sort of, uh, like, a central terminal in which you can configure your network I think that's like the general idea so uh, then the MAP would be very logical but in all other distros it would be a bit weird so uh, this is the GNOME version let me switch to the KDE version this is the KDE version uh, I had some more trouble with the KDE version and I god I hate this font why can I select stuff that's very annoying all right. So anyway, uh, this branch Linux is this has got to go. Um, if you compare to this one, this is a bit grungy, dark, pretty awesome. If you think about it, this is this will catch the eye. Then you go over to the KDE version, and it's like this god awful. All right. No more KDE bashing. I know. I know. I know. Uh, anyway, here you have the same stuff as it were. I uh, don't think the applications change. So you have development, you have QT, uh, now I need to go back. So you get graphics, uh, internet, chromium as well. But here you do not have the end map. So I don't know why that is, but it is. That's probably because it's KDE. Um, so we got some system stuff. Normal, basically, it's just a standard uh, uh, KDE installation. Helium 1, yes, very awesome. So, anyway, uh, for those of you who like KDE, uh, you can use this one. I'll show you here that uh, nothing changed. Same kernel, Arch Linux. Um, I'm running 64 bit, but it doesn't matter. And this one is the KDE version. So we'll hop over to the light version. This is the light version. I think this is LXDE. Uh, but look of this icon, it's LXDE. So um, here we have Catfish Extra. We got Chromium. Uh, we got Zathura. I don't know what is this. Oh, it's a minimalistic document viewer. Cool. Here we also have Qt. Um, assistant designer and linguist so for programming whereas in GNOME we do not have that at all I think it should be in here somewhere but I don't think no so you see we don't have that so that's pretty pretty weird um obviously it's on video so we got some players and a burner and some normal system tools that come predetermined with uh, LXDE. So we'll do a. I need. Where is the. There. Too. Here, the same background, which I quite like. This huge font, but that's okay. Same everything, but then LXDE. And then we go to XFCE. Here we are, XFCE. Uh, by the way, the XFCE, LXDE, and GNOME worked fine and fast from the get-go and KDE was being a little bitch as it were um, this is my favorite of all the bridge Linux I think by far the most went into this one as everything just seems to add up in this setup I mean this looks far better than this now maybe now you understand what I mean with it that I want this to add up. Uh, anyway, we have loads of applications in here. We got OpenJDK and Qt, 
um, Chromium and Thunderbird for some reason in here. Multimedia, we have VLC, so uh, it seems to me that like random people work on random distros, but uh, that's okay, that's okay, it doesn't really matter. Um, all in all, I dig this one, so if I should take one of these bridge Linux, I would take this one, and same, all oh, same, all. Oh. Now then, maybe we can, we can do some fun stuff, actually. Um, it's not really fair, because I've given three machines 512 and one, one gig, so uh, KDE cannot be in this to compare what it uses. But uh, XFCE has uh, only three, about five, so it uses up a total of 512 MB almost. Which is very low, but I had to run four simultaneously, so I wanted to keep it low. The light version, or the LXDE, has six free. So one, but I must say that the buffers and cache are not the same. Way bigger here than here. So and it's not really fair, but overall, I think this one uses less than this one. Well, not quite. It's a neck on neck race, really. So, LXDE and XFCE are almost identical. Then we'll go here, and we'll, I think this one will be over the top, but maybe, maybe not. Not even. This one uses less um, first glance than this one, actually. Well, no, that's not true. They're all the same, they're all tied actually. Almost equal all. And now we come to this bad boy, which is in a league all of its own. Which is huge, as you can see. It only has 62 free, and I've given it 1 gig, so that's why it wouldn't work the last time, because I gave it also 512. So, for people that have way too much memory than they want to use, take KDE. The rest of them are all equal. You can run it with one gig, you'll be fine, but with KDE, you won't be. So, uh, that's just a quick, this is really a quick uh, and dirty comparison, it's not really fair, but um, I don't care. Dragon Player, it's cool, so I thought I'd want to see that. But, to be true, to be honest, this one has all the funky effects and stuff like that. This one doesn't have that. This just is as it is. But I really like this one. I really dig this one. So, um, no console. That's it for Bridge Linux. Uh, four flavors: um, XFCE, LXDE, KDE. No. With the gnome being the ugliest one, uh, even uglier than KDE, yes. Uh, just change the desktop background and you'll be fine. And let's just go ahead and do that actually. Uh, oh, yeah, you can change that one. We'll get that one. Alright, so you, you change the background and you got a very nice desktop. So, um,. In bad to worse, or worse to good, I mean, is gnome is the worst, then, then light, or then LXDE, because I don't like that one, then KDE, because this one, even though it's white, it's like less obtrusive for some reason than the other one, uh, because there's a gradient in here and stuff like that, and it just fits better. And then at the top we have XFCE because this one rocks them all. So that's it for uh, Bridge Linux.